fancy beauties and bows welcome back to your channel I have been dying to do a purple look so today is the day that I get to get that purged out of my creative heart so I have to decide which um, palette I'm gonna go for uh, I'm trying to kind of switch it up a little bit for you guys so I you know the purples in here honey let me just show you okay see the purples in here um here all alongside this this path right here and then they get this um pretty shimmery uh lilac color right there that's calling my name and this is out of the um in palette the bright palette so that one is is an option then we have morphe of course and in here um there's a uh, plentiful purples in here too so you got alongside of here uh this way and then you have this deep one that's right here morphe again Okay, and in this one, oh, I think I'm gonna go with this one, y'all. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna go with this one, y'all. Look at those purples in there, girl. You see them purples in there? With a cut crease, and and put that joker, this one right here. Mmm. Mm. Y'all know I don't work um, Jacqueline Hill's palette to death. I have worked this palette to no end. But, you know, it's some pretty uh, purple colors in here, too. You know, right around here. Nice and springy. But those kind of might come off to be a little pinkish. And I don't want pink. So... I believe this is the winner right here. Winner, winner, winner. Winner, winner, winner. Chicken dinner, dinner, dinner. Don't pay any attention to my underarms. So, over here. We're going to go with these. Ah! Those colors over there. This is the 35P palette from morphe so as you can see i already got my brows done um i was gonna try something different but i think i'm gonna just go ahead and stick with the norm so we're gonna go ahead and get started um so i want these to pop right so let's do Put uh, this on my lid just to, you know, give me a nice little base. Put that on, and then I'm just gonna go on and blend that out with the beauty blender. Just like that. Alright guys, I cannot wait till this this look comes together. I'm gonna take my mm -mm. I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna take my time <laughs> um, blending everything today, as I try to do all the time. But you know. Sometimes, girl, sometimes. Um, let me use, I'm going to use this P. Louise base too because I really want these colors to pop or this purple to pop. So, we just going to go in with some of that. And I'm just going to take a little old brush and just blend that out. whole life together have y'all been 
good. I know. I know you have been good. Because God is good. And you good. Here you go. I've been doing wonderful. Thank you for asking. I appreciate your concern. Um, mm, I just want to tell y'all so much. Ah! Oh, I want to tell y'all so much stuff. Uh, I do want to know if you guys want a couple vlogs here and there. You know, not a whole bunch of them. Uh, because I'm still trying to... Honestly, y'all, I'm still trying to figure out how to blog. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, I think if I had some encouragement from you all that watch me, you know, and have input in what's going on over here, I believe that I could do better. Alright, so I'm just going in with um, one of my Old Faithful um, brushes. Nothing spectacular, girl. Nothing spectacular. I'm going to bring y'all in just a little bit. Alright, guys. So now I got you up close and personal. We're going in with this vibrant purple right here. It does not have a name because this is uh, Morphe's older palettes. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp this right in over here and just continue to build that color up. Now for the transition color, I believe, no, that's not going to work. Alright, so I'm going to come over here because I want to keep it uh, light and airy. So I'm going to go with this color over here. That's, that's the second color. That's the second color to the, from the first row of chin. This one right here. And then I'm just going in with a 224 brush. Alright, and um, let's go ahead and get to blending. Rending, rending, rending. Why does it seem like that's so light up there? Really nice. That's really nice. All right, now go back with that P. Louise and uh, I'm just going to sit a dot of it right there. Look up. And then we go ahead and cut that crease. Do Alright, I'm 
do the same thing on the other eye. All right, now, with the cut crease, you don't really have to worry about, you know, if you messed up or anything like that, because you can always go back in and adjust whatever you need to, like I'm getting ready to do. Okay, and then I like to make sure it's super, super perfect. Because you want to remember, you don't want your eye to look droopy especially if you have um, small or hooded eyes like I do I have both so I want to make sure that that stays wide open and same thing on this side So that's pretty good for me for right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a smaller, I'm going to take a more uh, defined brush. Okay, there we go. Right there. So see how defined that uh, tip is? Uh, I want to use that. I'm going in with the same purple and I just want to bring that over this way just to kind of bring that color back. Alright, there you go. Now we're ready. All right, we're ready to go ahead and pack that color on, that next color, which is gonna be this super pretty shimmer color. I don't think the camera is really showing it just this. Uh, not really all right maybe that'll do it right there so that color right there is really pretty it's super light super shimmery so I'm just gonna go in and just pack that on that's the good thing about um mm, that's so pretty that's the good thing about uh, a cut crease Ooh, is that you could put whatever you want in that space right there. Oh, girl. When I tell you, this is giving me my whole life right now. It's giving it to me. That's so pretty.
All right, so. All right, now I'm gonna take this brush here that has that nice little tapered brush is um, squared off at the tip. So I think I'm gonna take, let's see. Yeah, I'll go in with this. I'm gonna take this purple here just to marry those two colors together over here and you could just do a tap 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 to get that blend Alright, so we're going to go ahead, go off camera, and I'm going to get everything else together. Uh, I think I'm not going to put uh, the makeup portion in here the, with, you know, the face products with the contour and then all of that kind of jazz. Um, I'm going to use the Kiss Foundation that you guys know is my new fave so far. Um, I'm going to go in with the new e.l.f. Is this e.l.f.? I believe so. Yep. I'm going to go in with e.l.f. for my concealer. Still going in with the contour. This is the Infallible. And it's this deep chocolate. Oh, so pretty. Um... Da -ba -da -da -ba -da. It's got sunscreen in it too, you guys. Just FYI. So we're going to use that for the uh, contour. And this normal. Normal. Normal schmormal. Okay. So we're going to go in with that. I know. I'm always hurting myself. But we're going to go in with this for the bronze. And then I think I'll be back for everything else. Lashes. Um, I'm not sure. I want something kind of dramatic. Mm -hmm. Something fluttery. Fluttery. All right, I think I'm gonna go with this 3D, this 3D hot. Bam. So I'm going in with those and then I'll be back, okay? Right, you guys I'm back so we're gonna go ahead and move into the rest of the face okay um, I'm gonna go in with the elf like I mentioned before I know I probably said I was gonna do this off camera but I'm a woman I'm allowed to change my mind <laughs> Plus, I still got to do my under eye. So, I figured you might as well just come back on camera. And do all of it. Well, here we are. I still haven't contoured my nose. Mm, 
but look at that look how that just um, brought everything together because makeup was just looking a little flat uh, and just sitting on the face so I had to fix that honey so we got curves and dimensions you got some potholes too in now. You know what I'm saying? So concealer gonna handle that for us too. You know what I mean? You can see them little valleys and rivers and lakes. <laughs> concealer handle all that for us. Okay. Okay. Okay, honey. Mm, really pretty. All right, come on. Let me get um get Old Faithful over here so we can contour. <sighs> I'm just gonna take this little um see how that's shaped. If you could tell. Maybe I bring it back here. So see how you see how it's um, shaped. It's kind of got a point at the top, but not really. So I'm just going to use that and uh, contour this little nose of mine. Jaw lines, the cheeks, these cheeks, good. Oh, 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 oh. Y'all like this makeup look, child? Cool. She gave me a little life. A little life. You know what I mean? Alright. So we good with that. With that. With that. With that. Um... Yeah, we're going to go on back in with that same vibrant purple right there. And that's going to go under the lash line. Baby, baby. Baby, baby. Baby, baby, baby. Yes, it's going to make my eyes water, but that's sometimes beauty hurts. Okay, you know what I'm saying? But she killed or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um. Woo-hoo. Nope. All right, let's try to go with this. Um, on the waterline, okay. I'm just glutton for punishment. Oh, you know that's coming on that there. Y'all know I ain't never been good at that part, child. Let me see.
I think that's cute, y'all. Right? Mm-hmm. Boom, 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 boom. Now, I'm not going matchy-matchy today with, you know, the blush and all that other stuff. So, <laughs> um, remember this, remember. first of all, need to set up under there. Do this by Milani. So we're going to do Milani 07, that, and then I'll top it with this, top it with this, boom, and then boom. Yeah, I think the nude is better. Um, let's gotta set the face. So we're gonna use um, fit me. Oh 